When it comes to delivering the energy needed to kill cancer cells when doing intraoperative radiation therapy, there are basically two different sources of that energy. One is called electron and the other is called x-ray or another term for x-ray is photons. And I'm often asked, well, gee, Dr. Harness, what's the difference between these two sources? And what I'm going to focus on right now, as best I can in layman's terms, is trying to define some of the advantages of electron intraoperative radiation therapy. Now, electrons are generated by a mobile linear accelerator. Uh, I, I jokingly refer to these as the R2-D2 of, of these big, huge linear accelerators. Uh, the one I'm going to be focused on is the Mobitron uh, mobile linear accelerator that, is, that delivers electrons. And so what you do is you have uh, increasing energy sources, and I'm going to read from my notes from this so I can get it straight for you. And then the electrons uh, with the unit are easily controlled as to how deep they go, keeping the dose relatively the same as you go down through the tissue instead of having the dose of radiation that we really need drop off rather, rather dramatically. The term there is called attenuation. Think of throwing a tennis ball and it loses you know, steam as it goes, hits the back wall and comes back at you as the tennis ball flies away, it's losing energy. Well, the same thing is happening with either uh, electrons or x-rays as they go through tissue. But one of the advantages of the electron is we can really control the depth by the number of megavolts or um, KEVs that are uh, generating uh, the, uh, the electrons. And at the time we're doing intraoperative radiation therapy, we're actually measuring in the OR how deep we need to go, particularly wanting to get down to the muscle underneath the breast called the pectoralis muscle. And so we increase the uh, energy from uh, 6 uh, MeV, which will give us 2 centimeters of uh, depth, on up to 9 MeV when we want to get 3 centimeters of depth. And then the maximum is 12 MeV of, the, of this mobile linear accelerator to get up to 4 centimeters of depth. If you go anything higher than 12 MeV, then you really need one of the big cement bunkers. So the advantage is that not only can we control the depth of the electrons, but we can control the shape. And what we're worried about as surgeons is called the tissue at risk. In other words, after we've taken a slice out, which is where the cancer is, the concept I use with patients is taking a slice of the pie out, moving the rest of the tissue together, we're worried about little microscopic cancer cells that could be left around that area. That's called the tissue at risk. So we really want to maximize the dose of radiation therapy, whether it's the boost or whether it's a single fraction, uh, and electrons do that extremely well. Uh, one of the difficulties with x-ray as an energy source is that at, at, at just one centimeter of depth, it may have gone from 20 gray right at the surface down to 5 gray, so the energy is falling off rather quickly. Best analogy I can think of is sort of creating like an orange peel, if you will, a very thin area versus getting some of the depth that you can have with electrons, you can shape the area, you can do all sorts of really cool things. I'm trying to explain this in layman's terms. Trust me, the physicists have much better, uh, uh, you know, very detailed definitions of the differences here. So that when you are uh, looking at intraoperative radiation therapy, one of the fair questions to ask who's providing it is, what is the energy source? What are the advantages of the energy source? And what I've tried to share with you today is the advantage of electrons, which can be done in just two minutes, versus x-ray for IORT, which may take up to 45 minutes. So hopefully I have made this explanation as simple as I can so you can be empowered and understand it so that when you see somebody from radiation therapy, you can ask really good questions.
The Mobitron is a mobile self-shielding linear accelerator used to deliver intraoperative electron radiation therapy for the treatment of breast and other forms of cancer. To learn more about this exciting and cutting edge technology, please go to interoperativemedical.com.